Okay, here is another at home uh, water cycle activity that you could do. Uh, find a bowl that can handle warm to hot water. Make sure you have an adult that helps you with the warm to hot water. But honestly, you could use your sink water when it's pretty warm, but you can still burn yourself, so be careful. Um, fill that up. Uh, it does not need to have the measurement lines, okay? This one is for observing or looking closely at. So inside of here is warm water that represents the ocean. The ocean is nice and warm from the sun heating it, providing it thermal energy. And then I put a cap on this a, because our earth has something called the atmosphere. Okay. And the atmosphere is way up high when you look in the sky and you see blue or you see the clouds, it's way past that. It is way high up there. And the higher you get up there, the colder it gets. So that is what the ice represents is the saran wrap and the ice are the atmosphere way up high right before you leave earth. And it is nice and cold up there. Okay. So we have warm ocean water down here. We have the cold atmosphere up here. And as you watch, what should happen, I can actually see it happening right now, is that when warm air cools, evaporation is going up. Once it cools, it condenses. It turns back to a liquid. Tiny, tiny, tiny water droplets have formed on the inside of the saran wrap. I'm going to show you. Okay? So you see tiny, tiny, tiny water droplets. Now notice, when I touch it, it's not wet. It is on the inside because the atmosphere is keeping it inside. And so when I'm watching, you're gonna notice those tiny droplets get heavier and heavier and heavier and they fall down. Now you're probably saying, oh, that's like rain. You're correct but we need to know the word precipitation. So when you are seeing the droplets falling either from the side of the glass or like you just did right now, it almost looks like it's coming from the ice cube. Well, guess what? There's no holes in there. So that is precipitation occurring. So let's start from the top. We have warm ocean water, warm water. It is turning from a liquid to a gas in between here. That is called evaporation. The liquid water is turning into water vapor as it rises. Then it hits the atmosphere up here, up here where the ice is, okay? Again, the atmosphere is nice and cold. That's what rep is represented by the ice cubes. When the when the water vapor, the gas, starts to cool down because it's getting the cold ice, the atmosphere, then it condenses and forms those tiny, tiny, tiny water droplets. Again, let me show you. Though that is condensation. And again, it's not wet outside. So as those tiny, tiny water droplets, those con condensed droplets start to gather together, then they precipitate or precipitation in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail. And once it drops back down, it collects back into here. So this, this water amount won't change because it's gonna stay in here. That's why it's a cycle. And that's called accumulation. And I'm sorry, I do not have a vocab word for that. So as you've watched this video, you should have seen several droplets fall as precipitation or rain.